Hey guys, Allie here, Ben's still here, and we are on day two of Doki Doki Literature Club, because we ha we kind of had to take a little bit of a break, because uh, someone, I'm not going to name names, but someone may have had a little too much gin yesterday. I just wanted to take a nap. <laughs> a, a nap at night is called sleeping. <laughs> well, then that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to sleep. Okay. Well, we took a break. It did take a lot longer than we thought it would, because this... I don't know exactly how long we've been recording for, but it's been a few hours already, and I feel like we haven't really even gotten that far into the game yet, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and load this back up, and we're going to write a poem. Who are we writing a poem for? Natsuki, the middle one. Are you sure? We haven't written one for Yuri yet. We've written well, one you, for... If you want to make it sad, depressing poem, I guess we can. <laughs> we did one for Natsuki, and we did one for Sayori, so... It only feels fair that we write one, at least one for Yuri. Fine. Okay, so now we gotta forget about, about all the cutesy stuff. Now I gotta channel our inner emo child, so sadness. Oh, fuck! Oh my goodness, you should've <laughs> went with grief. Damn it! Um, dark. Fuck! Oh, you should've went with horror. Agonizing, there we go! Depre- Fuck! You're bad at this. <laughs> Bad at this. Um, Misery. Fuck! Oh, we got it wrong. Scar fuck! No! Stop it! Sayori, I just need you to like, go away for a little bit, okay? I have no idea what she's into, because before it was like happiness and friends, and now it's all like depression and ugh. Okay. I think we got a majority for the purple one. I hope so, although we did get a lot of Sayori in that one. Oh, I gotta remember the voices I did for everyone. Jesus. <coughs> okay. <coughs> gotta warm up my vocals. <coughs> you want some gin? It'll help clear that up. No. <laughs> it's good for you. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in, too. I feel like that was a little bit more of my Sayori voice. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Fried squid, isn't that like calamari? Yes. I like me some calamari. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying that you don't like squid? You, of all people? What? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because! It's right in your name! Is it? Monica? Is she trying to say mon? I, I don't know Japanese. I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing a joke here. Eh? Oh, she's doing her not happy face with her hair pose. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Dot 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 question mark. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Hehe. <laughs> Fine, fine. Your reaction aren't as, aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Oh, she is more depressed, like. <laughs> eh? 
You're spacing out again. Ah! <laughs> Sorry! Don't mind me. You could go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. Now I'm the one saying jeez all the time. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Senpai, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Oh, honey, don't do that. You're gonna wear out your eraser. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, senpai. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that have bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, senpai. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Huh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's always been. <laughs> You're so funny, senpai. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Dot dot dot. Ah, uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Oh. Uh, Alright. Mm. Monica smiles meaningfully. Hate those meaningless smiles. <laughs> I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. So I was thinking about like why we can't write a poem for Monica. And she's the HBIC. <laughs> well, I was thinking it could be like two possibilities. It could be like the thing we mentioned yesterday where like no matter who we try to go for it's always going to end up being monica at the end or maybe she kind of acts as like our guide through the game because she did that whole fourth wall breaking thing like don't forget to save your game and all that so maybe she's just not ever an option and she's just kind of like the stand-in as like our guide for the game or something if that makes sense I don't know. 
I'm probably not making any sense right now. Hmm. But you know what I mean? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Anyways, but I was thinking that, you know, if we end up with her no matter what, I hope she doesn't try to, like, say some shit to Sayori right now and be like, oh, he hates you, he thinks you're being annoying and shit. Because I feel like that's the direction it could go if that's how this turns out. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Hey, you! Yeah? I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. Assuming you didn't want to talk about it or anything. I said mumble, <laughs> not talk like a demon. <laughs> nah, I'm probably just making it, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today, but she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but to wonder if something happened to her. Oh. Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. Phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then she would be the first person, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah, I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Ah, uh, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Wait a minute, we, we wrote a poem for Yuri. We haven't talked to her yet. I thought, like... The day's events change based on who we, we wrote a poem for. Well, they don't know we wrote the poem for them yet. The game probably knows. Yeah, but... I don't know. I don't know how this works. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Better not be a backstabbing bitch. Okay. So we wrote it for Yuri. Might as well... Oh, what did I click on? What did I do? Oh, Jesus. I think I right-clicked. That's weird. I didn't know that makes it go away. Dot, dot, dot. 
Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. Bitch, I wrote a poem for you. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. Oh my god, so she really is, like, not an option anymore. Well, I told you we were down to two. Oh, damn it! Okay, well, Now I... we're gonna make everybody else mad with our depressing poem. Now we're gonna oh. lose more options. We're gonna be down well... to zero options after today. <laughs> well, no, because we sort of kind of wrote it a little for Sayori, I guess, unintentionally. So let's go show her. Da da da. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Damn it! See? Fuck. This is what we get for trying to go after all of them. You're getting too greedy. You gotta take what you can get sometimes. <laughs> Probably Yuri. See? Shit. I fucked up. I fucked up. Trying uh, to play the field too much. <laughs> I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well... Of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, senpai. Sayori. Is, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. It's... Go play with everyone else. She sounds like a like a distracted mom. Like, go play with the other kids. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Uh, Natsuki's gonna hate it. Crap. Dot dot dot. Oh man! This is seriously a step backwards. <laughs> Shit. Eh? I liked your last two way better than this one. I mean, I guess I can't be mad at you for trying different things. As long as you're not just trying to impress Yuri and something like that! Motherfucker! Gross! Okay, okay. I'm upset. Like you said, I'm allowed to try new things. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in the club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here even if I have to put up with you. Yeah. Natsuki's <laughs> elbow connects with my stomach. Spousal abuse. Wait, does that mean I need to do that to you now? No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you mm. boot my nose. I should get to elbow you in the stomach. <laughs> oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was... just joking? Oh, I know. Don't worry. I was too. An elbow to the stomach is not a joke. <laughs> dot dot dot. How the hell do you call that a joke? I know, right? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. 
I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway. Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. Oh god, this is a long one. <clears throat> okay. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with your brilliant light. The walls in your... <sighs> Do I really have to read all this? Yes. This is what you signed up for. <sighs> I didn't sign up for this. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I feel like I'm singing a pop song. Like, I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day, you know? <laughs> you wouldn't make a good song. <laughs> I'll be the beach that makes your heart... Okay, I'm not going to do it in that sickiest voice anymore because that's a little grating. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought you had left... And Ah! I can't even read this. In a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. Now the chorus again. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll, <laughs> I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. You seem very unimpressed with my singing, and I don't appreciate it. I feel you judging me over there. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be, let, if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Oh boy. I miss the poems about eagles and people trying, but that's about it. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well... It's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. Wait, I don't think we saw Yuri's poem, did we? We didn't see Yuri's poem yesterday. I don't think so. So how do we know that they wrote about the same thing? They shared each other's poems with each other. Did we? Oh, I feel like we missed Everybody something. Everybody shares with everybody. I feel like we miss things. We can't be inside everybody's head at the same time. Sure we can. She wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. I see. I don't really have much to contribute here since I didn't actually read Yuri's poem. See? Ugh. You can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. And we still got our last choice. Monica with the K, whose name apparently means squid. Hi, senpai! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. That means all the pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Dot dot dot. Great job, senpai. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. 
it's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I know! We tried to show it to Yuri! She doesn't like us anymore! Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. It was kind of, sort of, for Sayori. Like, a third of it, about. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Er, uh, all right. Oh, God. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The Lady Who Knows Everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky, until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather. A dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Um, okay. That's nice, I guess. Seems a little more like a story than a poem, but whatever floats your boat. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Wait, the, when she said two-dimensional, was that like another fourth wall break or something? Because they're two-dimensional? I'm confused. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, They'll want to focus more on everything that went into it, and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? 
that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. See, she sounds almost like tutorial-ish when she talks like that. Like she's got a writing tip every day. I don't know. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me? Or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Well, she didn't say okay everyone cuz Sayori left, I guess. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. What? I feel like we're being dropped a massive hint right now. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. Sigh. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little bit when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. Yeah, bitch. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people... Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Because she did... Sayori left after Monica talked to her. I don't know. Maybe Monica is getting all sabotage between us and Sayori. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so way to dodge the question there. <laughs> Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself... I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Dot dot dot. Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Dot 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 question mark. Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Well, poor, poor Yuri doesn't have a job. I... I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Dot, dot, dot. N now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, I can't even... I can... <laughs> I can read. <laughs> Are you sure? Jeez, even I can tell now. Oh, jeez, Rick. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I... Mmm, I can't read. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Oh. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Alright. <laughs> Your mind is already racing, I see. That's 
great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Senpai. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. Oh, shit, we gotta choose. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah. That's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Oh, now you want to spend time with me, huh? Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica... <laughs> it's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Senpai may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for senpai to... W what are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just why do you think... Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to senpai to decide how he'd like to contribute. Oh, fuck. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said, uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Senpai, you're okay with this, right? Not like I have a choice. In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. Oh. But of course, I'm going to go with... Oh, who are we going with? The whole poem thing with Yuri didn't work out, so should we kind of take this chance to make it up to her by going with her? Or do we go with Natsuki? Or do we try to go with Sayori? I don't really want to go with Monica. What do you think? I don't know, we never wrote a poem for Monica. You, you want to go with Monica? I don't know. Who do we go with? I just asked you that. Mm -hmm. You stole the mouse from me and said I'm not allowed to drive. <laughs> no, I did not say you aren't allowed to drive. I said I'm steering this ship. It's a ship, not a car. Get it straight. Um, uh, oh, the conflict. Oh, the conflict. I don't really want to go with Monica. Because I still don't trust anyone who spells their name with a K like that. Uh, we could just leave it up to random chance. Leave it up. Oh, okay. Okay, Google. Roll a four-sided die. Okay. You rolled a four. Four. There we go. Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Oh, that's right. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No, uh, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Yeah, you did. Oh, shit. Okay, so then... That's not what your line is. Uh... Just think of the club, okay? There you go. <laughs> I was looking at the choices and trying to think. So then, even if we wanted to go with Monica, she's probably out because she's getting help from Sayori. Well, then let's go with Natsuki. We don't want to go with the purple person anyway. No, I feel like we should flip a coin. Why? Just because I can't choose. Which one is going to be Natsuki, head or tails? Uh, Natsuki will be heads. Okay, Google. Flip a coin. Alright. It 
It's heads. Natsuki it is. There we go. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. So you guys heard, we left that up to random chance. Don't get mad at us. <laughs> and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Is that a euphemism for something? <laughs> eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that... That's because... Dot, dot, dot. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway... You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. That's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard not to feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No? I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except their performance is gonna be awesome! I don't think that really counts. What about you, Senpai? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Natsuki starts pouting too. Oh my god. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. Dot 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 question mark? I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. No, I feel we're, a little bad. We're making this situation a lot better, aren't we? <laughs> I feel bad. That doesn't mean... Dot dot dot. Ugh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And, and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Dot dot dot. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but... Damn it, Natsuki! <laughs> Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah! Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Uh... We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Yeah, you dummy. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You'd better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. 
Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over my house. I think she means over at my house. No, she says mm -hmm. that I can't be like over her house, like hovering over it. Like I'm a, not, I'm like not a, allowed to do that. Like a giant balloon? Yeah. Okay. I can't be mm -hmm. over her house. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> my dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you'd better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say that you were just going to give me the dirty work? Phrasing. Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I'd, I could act like in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Ah, uh, dot dot dot. Never mind. Oh dear. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. We gonna get our freak on. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori... Er, why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Are you sure? Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Okay, so I think we're going to leave that episode here. Because we usually do like one episode for each day or something like that. So we'll leave this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. We're going to roll straight into the next episode and hopefully finish up the game today. I know we said that last time, but this time it's for real. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, we will see you guys later. Bye!